In this video, you will learn how to use expressions to make this bouncing animation. So after we're done making the basic shapes, we're gonna go to the properties that we want to animate. In this case, it's gonna be the vertical scale of this arrow. So by right clicking, we can click the button set expression. And this is where we're going to generate the animation. Because the animation is generated over time, we need time to keep track of in the first place. And this is done by the binding time equals dollar sign frame, which represents the current frame the animation is in. And we use this variable to manipulate our function. By placing time in a call for a sine wave function, we get this waving arrow. And by dividing the number, we can slow it down. By making the number absolute, we make sure the arrow never gets inverted. By adding a number of your choice, you can make sure the arrow never disappears. Now let's enclose it in parentheses, and then we multiply this by a number of your choice to make sure the arrow never gets too big. Now just make sure the pivot point is where you want it to be. Now you just add a bunch of others you would like, and you are good to go. I hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe if you found this video helpful.